All right, real quickly, I want to show you how to catch your kid a first fish. Again, using a small size 12 bait holder mustad hook. And this is just a little wax worm. So what I'm going to do is just pin that worm right on there. You can use a meal worm, a red worm will work. And all I'm doing is just tossing it out here really close and just let it sit there. And all I'm going to do is just let it go down there. No weight, just a hook. And you can use a swivel if you're using snout hooks. And then just have the bobber sit there. And then all you do is just wait for the fish to swim by. If you don't get bit in the spot that you casted the bait in, then toss it. Now I'm getting a bite right now. See my bobber going? That's a fish right there. He's running with the bobber. So I'm just going to tighten it up on him. Wait for him to run with it one more time. There he goes. Set the hook on him. There he is. And that's all there is to this type of fishing. You get in a little spot like this where there's a lot of them. It's really easy to catch a bunch of little bluegill like this. I know it's not a trophy fish. It's not something you're going to brag about. But if you're out here with your kid and your kid's never, ever caught a fish before, this is the perfect fish to get a, a kid hooked on fishing. And this is what I caught my very first fish on was a bluegill. There goes that one. He just went away. All right, so I have a little bit of worm left here. I'm just going to try one more time. I'm just going to toss it right here. Let it hit the water. There's my bobber. I'm already bit. There's my bobber going swimming. You don't want to set the hook too soon. You want that bobber to really move. Remember, there's nothing alive at the end of that line other than a worm. So when it starts darting around like that, you know it's a fish. There's a fish already on it. So I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. There he is. A little bit bigger one. Another bluegill. Again, just a small little panfish. And there are bigger ones here, but a lot of you ask me, how do you get your kid started? And to me, this is a perfect way to get a kid started. Catch a little bluegill like this. All right, let's go ahead and let this one go. There he goes. All right, that's uh, today's little tip on how to get started in fishing and get your kids started. Again, you can use red worms, wax worms, they all work. Don't forget to subscribe right here and I'll talk to you soon.